Well, hello and welcome to this week's Adobe Illustrator demo. We're going to jump right in. These are the two shapes that we're going to make together. I'm going to click and drag over them and move them off to the side so that we can create the duplicates right here on this white artboard. This is my artboard. Let's get started with the pen tool. I'm going to come over here to the left, click on the pen tool and I'm going to drop a point, meaning I'm just going to click once and you can automatically see that I have what's called kind of a rubber band attached to it. So I'm going to come fairly far down here. I'm going to add my finger to the shift key to keep this actually very straight. And then I'm going to click with my finger on my mouse and then drag a shape outward like this by moving slightly to the right on my desktop. Then I'm going to release my finger and I'm going to come back up to the top and close the shape. And there's no color in this initial shape. So the first thing I want to do next is deselect this tool because it's still on my cursor. And the fastest way to always go back to this black selection tool is to click V, which is a keyboard shortcut, V like Victor on your keyboard. Now let's open up the swatches panel, which is right over here, or come to window and scroll down and open up swatches. We want this first color to be this kind of tan, which I believe is this one. So I just clicked on it. And when I come over here, you notice this is actually your fill box. It's filling the entire shape. And we're going to get to the stroke in the back when we move on to this shape. How did we do in terms of the size? I'm going to bring it over here and try to sort of line it up. It's a little bit kind of small. And so I'm going to readjust it by coming to the bottom and just dragging this downward. And then here's a pro tip. Come to the middle nodes, hold down the, the option on a Mac and the Alt on a PC, and then slide outwards. And that's moving the right and the left at the same time, which now gives us a shape that's pretty much identical. Now to make all of these other shapes, it's pretty easy. It's going to be a duplicative process that we're going to do over and over. The first is we're going to copy this and that's command C if you're on a Mac. That would be control C if you're on a PC. That's the first move. Then after you've done that, you're going to hold down the command key again and click on the F key to move it to the front. And if you're on a PC, that's going to be your control key. Now we're going to open up swatches again. I'm going to open it up here. I'm going to look at my design and see, well, what color's next? So it's this very light color. And you can barely tell that there is the darker color behind it, but all we need to do is to come to one of the middle nodes, make sure you've got those in and out arrows, hold down the option key on your Mac, the alt key on your PC, and just slide it in and see it sliding it in from left to right identically. Let's do that again. Commander control C to make your copy. Commander control F to bring it to the front. This next layer is actually blue. Come to the middle node, hold down your option or your alt key, and then slide inward. Let's make another copy. Commander control C, commander control F to bring it to the front. The next color is this dark brown. And we're going to come to the middle node, hold down your option or your alt key, slide inward. And we just have one more to do. Commander control C, commander control F, change the color. I think it is this color, could be that color. Come to the middle node, hold down option or alt, and then slide inward. And there you have your shape. Now I want to make sure that this, since these are not connected to each other, I'm going to do command or control Z to move that back in place. I want to group this whole object. So I always come to the upper left. I hold my finger on my mouse, slide across, and then I go to object group. So here's our first shape. I'm going to move it slightly over here. Let's make a duplicate of it. And I'm going to show you how to change all of these fill colors to strokes so that we get this version. I'm going to, first of all, make a copy of this by holding down my option key and on my Mac or the Alt key on your PC. And you notice I've got a black and white arrow now. So here we go. I've got a, I've got a copy. If I hold down the shift key as well, they're now kind of aligned with each other. Although to be honest, that's not that important. Now here's a pro tip. I'm going to double click to go inside this shape. And then I'm going to click on the very first one. I'm being pretty careful with how I'm positioning my, my mouse and where I'm clicking. So I basically clicked on this shape. And I want to turn this from a fill color into a stroke color. All I need to do is hit this toggle switch and boom, we now have a what's called a stroke. Now that's a super skinny stroke. And so I remember that I actually had these about a 10 point width. So now let's go to the next one. Let's do the toggle switch. I came all the way over to the left. I hit the toggle switch to make it a stroke. 
I came up here and I made it 10 points. And let's move on to the next one. Do a little toggle switch. Come over here to make it 10. Let's go to the this one. Again, the toggle switch all the way over on the left. And then I'm going to make, you notice where I am over here with the stroke. I'm hitting here to come to 10 points. Let's go to the last one. Do the little toggle switch. And then make, come back over here to where you see your stroke and make sure that it's 10 points. And then I'm going to zoom back out. And I'm still in this layer group. Do you see up here I'm in a layer group because I double clicked. So I have to double click again to go out of the layer group. And now we have our duplicate that is a bunch of strokes instead of a bunch of fills. So there you have it. We've used the pen tool. We also played with both fills and strokes. And we did a whole bunch of duplicating and moving things to the front. I will see you next week. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button. And thank you so much for watching. Bye for now. Mm -hmm.